Following the success of its first-ever pandemic production Dito at Dune, film producer TBA Studios recently held a virtual Thanksgiving party to celebrate, among other things, the extended run and international digital release of its rom-com top build by J.C. Santos and Janine Gutierrez. TBA is also proud that Dito at Dune became the first local film to be released during the pandemic and on five major streaming platforms, Cinema 76 at Home, I Want TFC, Upstream, Ticket to Me and KTX. Just this month, it has been made available in over 60 countries, including the US, Canada, as well as select territories in the Middle East and North Africa via TBA Play. TBA Play has also partnered with international distribution and sales company, TBCO, to bring TBA Play content to key European markets. Skip in the film, JC and Janine are Cabs and Len, respectively, two people with divergent views on life and backgrounds, he, a delivery rider, and she, a master's student, who meet virtually at the onset of the first COVID-19 lockdown in early 2020. Sparks fly as they exchange pointed opinions on social media and then, eventually, flirty direct messages and video calls. JC and Janine are two people with divergent views on life and backgrounds who meet virtually during the onset of the pandemic. The star is leaving it up to the viewer to figure out why this JP Habak directed take on love in the time of COVID has been, in the words of the producers, embraced by many. But one of the things that would most likely leave a lasting impression on audiences is the film's twist ending, the subject of several media questions during the virtual gathering last week. Jean also declared it as her favorite scene. The most impactful really is the ending and I hope to those who haven't seen it, Sana Mapanud Niyo even for just the feeling non Ibage Nung ending that still surprised me even though I already knew what would happen. Prodded to explain the ending without spoiling anything, direct JP said, Deba during the pandemic, Young Minga priorities Nagbago Tolaga? Like Kung before pandemic, Kung Marin Tiong Nila Lagawan, Kainati Ni Wan Lahat. Wede Nadine Sia Balakan anytime. This pandemic, Nagri assess Teo Kung Anyo Batolaga Young Priorities Natin, is it family, love life or work? So, I think, that's why the ending is like that. No spoilers here, but the ending seemed to open up possibilities for a sequel. So much possibilities of a sequel, said JC. Direct JP agreed but there are factors to consider. Open young possibility for a part 2 Kaya Nagdanazal Kami Nasanama Ging Maganda Ang receptioning Pelakula globally. Asked if he already started writing the sequel, JP said that he is only waiting for a go signal from Daphne Chu, executive vice president at TBA Studios. Endless possibilities, but for sure, we'd like more people to watch the film because we're still streaming. You get the chance pa, to watch, until the end of the month. Daphne said, if more people ask for it, then let's see. We really want a part two, Janine further admitted, but it really depends on the reception. When asked where they want their characters' stories to end up, should there be a part two, JC said, my character is longing to go home to Cebu, he's from the province, so I think I want to see him Nakasama Niyu young family Niya. It would be something valuable to him, I think. What will be Cab's future if he's with his family? On her part, Janine said, Gusto Kong Najing Professor Natal Agassi Len, Casey Young in our old Nia, Kaka graduate Lang Nia, oh my gosh, I hope she's happy. Ang Hirap Mag Salita Casey Baka May Handy Pana Kapa Nudit May Spoiler, Basta I hope Masa Yasia and she will not close her heart to new opportunities that come her way. They also shared the love lessons they learned from working on Dito at Dune. JC said, Hindi mo podeng sabi him na, wiki lalakita, at the same time Hindi mo rintol aga malalam and kung ki lalam o young tell. So, you cannot predict someone, alam mo yuan? Even if you truly know that person, darating palatol aga young point nadi mo palatol aga siya ki lala. So, you just have to take care of them, take care of how you communicate with them and how you treat them. We don't know what everyone is going through. You cannot predict someone. 
I can't tell someone that I know you through and through. Janine, on the other hand, said that one of her realizations from doing the movie is you have to make the most of every opportunity, even if it's just a video call or a text, Sabihin Monala Hot Angusto Mung Sabihin, because everything is so uncertain now, Mario Mega Nun Namantolaga Aka mentality that I always say I love you, I'm vocal with that. Even with everything, if you like someone, just say it. Don't be afraid too much to take a risk because you never really know what's going to happen, you only have today. Meanwhile, JC admitted that he was surprised by his on-screen chemistry with Janine. Diako na surprised because Naramdam and Kosia on set, Kinakilik Tolaga Ako, Janine quipped. The actress credited their effective pairing to the actor's efforts to get to know her on set, it helped a lot. I think we just both enjoyed talking to each other. Both also revealed the reactions of their respective real-life partners to their first film together. JC related wife Shailena's comment, Budi na long anganda ng pelakula mo, tagal tagal mo na wala. Nag enjoy siya. According to Janine, actor boyfriend Draver Cruz envied JC because he had never experienced acting alongside his GF in a film. Janine, who won Best Actress Awards last year for the movie Baba A at Barrio, has more projects coming, including a film directed by Oro Salido, where she plays a star who lost her luster and is struggling in lockdown. While JC wants a biopic for his next project. In the pipeline for TBA Studios is Kesson, the last installment of Gerald Tarok's historical trilogy, after General Luna and Goyo, Ang Bathong General. With pre-production starting in June, Direct JP is also involved in TBA's musical comedy drama Golden about homeless gay seniors who restage old drag queen shows to raise funds for a retirement home. During the Thanksgiving event, TBA Studios, led by President Vincent Ting, Neperda, also expressed their gratitude and paid tribute to the late star entertainment editor Ricky Lowe for his support for the film outfit from the very start until his last days and unparalleled contributions to the movie industry.